Shabbos and Gijamtif. Last night, the night before Yom Kippur, my daughter took this car to do a mitzvah, actually. And um, beforehand, she filled it up with petrol. After driving a little bit, she realized that something's wrong with the car. It's, uh, it's not driving properly. and It's making noises. And she found out that she put unleaded petrol in a car that takes only diesel. Well, what's going to be? Did she totally break the car? We put the car on the side of the road, she put the car on the side of the road, and we looked, called the NRMA, and the question was to tow it to our service state, to the place that normally does our cars. What are we gonna do about this? Is the car, uh, can you remedy it? And the NRMA told us that there's this group that does this that's their job that you call them in they take out the, the uh, petrol that was put in that is the wrong petrol they take out the unleaded in this case and clean out the car and then uh, you put in the normal petrol and you're able to drive so we call the group it cost uh, wasn't cheap uh, you call them to come they they empty the the petrol they empty what the let it put in uh, then they call me say okay we've emptied it but we need to uh, put in regular petrol we have a tank we're going a little bit and then have time for you to get to the st gas station to the petrol station well I'm sitting and thinking why do I have to why do we have to deal with this you keep her at night the costs you know there's a lot of cost involved what lesson can I learn from it? And I said, ah, what an amazing lesson. Lesson is like this. We, the Jewish people, need petrol. We need our own kind of gas to make us run. The petrol of the Jew is Torah, it's mitzvahs, it's kosher food, it's Shabbos, it's staka, it's helping people. That's, the, it's, uh, that's our petrol. And what happens is we put other petrol in. All year round, we might be eating the wrong thing, you might be thinking the wrong thing, engrossing ourselves in the wrong thing, evolving in, in foreign things to a Jew. Now, those uh, entertainments and foods and other, other matters could be very good for non-Jews because they are cars that take unleaded. But for the Jewish people who need the diesel, I'll give an example, we need to have our special petrol, and when we don't, our car breaks down. What's to do? Hashem gives us Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is emptying the, the foreign items that we put into our body. All the foreign stuff that we put into our bodies, into our minds, into our hearts, into our system, gets, gets flushed out on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the day. It comes and it flushes us out. And we're as good as new. We're, we're fixed. We're clean. And now... After Yom Kippur, it's not enough. You could be fixed and clean, but you need to put the right petrol in. In this case, you needed to put the, the diesel in. And so, that's when we commit to adding in our Torah, and adding in our mitzvot, and adding in our prayer, and adding in our tzedakah, because this is the petrol we put into our system for the Jewish car, the Jewish body, the Jewish soul to run smoothly. You know, we just past the 7th of October, one year since the horrible massacre. And one could argue that one of the things that brought it about, both practically in the way our enemies look at us and spiritually, is because of the discord, the hatred, the divide that the Jewish people were going through at the time. This was foreign to us. Because as we once spoke about, the most important thing in health of a human body is the blood circulation. And the blood circulation of the Jews means our unity, where the blood is able to circulate all over equally, or all over the body. It's able to circulate. There's no blockage in between. Discord creates blockage. And so this discord that happened to the Jewish people was like putting foreign petrol into the Jewish um to the Jewish people's personhood, nationhood. 
But what's happened since has been unbelievably remarkable. A cleansing of the Jewish soul that has taken place through incredible unity where there was a call out for reserves to come. And when they called for 300,000 reserves, they got 450,000 reserves. The, the outpouring of financial support to Israel, over a billion dollars raised in all kinds of ways to help the soldiers and help the people affected. The, the incredible serious nefesh of sacrifice the soldiers and the army have shown, absolutely remarkable. And there are many, many, many stories like that. And I'll just share one episode. In Aner Shapiro's parents' lounge room, there is a huge picture of Aner in the front of a migunit, which is like the small bomb shelters or shelters on the pathway near Reim, near the Nova Festival. He was a soldier in the army. He had one month left until he would be released. His commander sent him there to see what to do to, to save people's lives. He, he was being shot at, so he went into this protection, this shelter. There's 30 people in there. They're small. And then terrorists comes and throws, in, throws grenades into that shelter. And on air, catches the grenade and throws it out seven times. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. Seven times he throws the grenade out. So finally they shoot in an RPG and kill him. And that's exactly the event where Hirsch Poland um, lost his arm and was captured from there. So they have a picture in their, in their um, living room, their lounge room. The pic uh, where a picture of Aner at the front of the Migunit, of the, because there was uh, obviously, there were cameras there on the front of this shelter, standing, waiting to protect everyone in, and everyone else is lying on the floor, hands over their heads, trying to protect themselves. But Arner was thinking of protecting everyone else. Or like the story of the soldier who jumped on a grenade to protect, to save everyone else in his, in his company whilst he was blown up. And he say, screams out, I'm doing this for the Jewish people. Well, that was one big Yom Kippur the whole year. We've had hundreds of thousands of Israeli soldiers literally giving their life for one another. This has extracted all the poisonous blood, so to speak, all the bad petrol from the car of the Jewish people. It is now time for Hashem to fill it with the light of Mashiach, with the goodness of, of the promise to the Jewish people, the goodness of peace and protection. And once and for all, we will have the revelation of Mashiach. But on this Yom Kippur, as we, as we uh, ask Hashem to empty us, to clean us, remember, we need to put in, what are we going to put in to help us go forward? Put in in unity, put in caring for others, put in for our own souls, and take a commitment. Keep away some of the foreign petrol put in the right petrol in our system. Good Shabbos and have an easy fast.